SHB 41i team has been diving into the training process and requirements for fire truck drivers. It's been nine months since this deadly Westport crash. Three people died after a Kansas City Fire Department pumper truck and an SUV collided that happened last December. And Caitlin, check this out. The fire truck had lights and sirens on when it entered that red light intersection right there. The SUV over here had the green light. There's an investigation going on to see if criminal charges will be filed. There are also civil lawsuits filed too against the city, fire department, and the driver, Dominic Bascari. One claim is that the driver was negligent. Another is that training, supervision, or policy wasn't up to par. Since there are those lawsuits and an open investigation, a spokesperson for KCFD says they cannot comment. But we want to give you an in-depth look at what it takes to get behind the wheel. So KSHB 41 investigator Cameron Taylor went to a similar training in Kansas City, Kansas to help give us that insight. Still lights and siren. Now we're starting out in the school zone. 23 year old Adam Saveda is a recruit for the Kansas City, Kansas Fire Department. He's behind the wheel of a fire truck simulator and responding to a medical emergency during foggy conditions. Definitely a lot different than driving a personal vehicle for sure. School bus, always be looking for kids. Speed limit is 25. Mike Cook is the instructor you hear. He's with the Kansas Fire and Rescue Training Institute at the University of Kansas. Intersections, the most dangerous part of our job because people will wait and wait and then they'll pull out in front of you. We assume we have the right of way, we don't. Not till it's safe can we proceed through because most of our accidents do happen at the intersections. He explains what fire truck drivers should do if they approach an intersection with a red light. You come up, you stop, you make sure all those drivers can see you before you proceed through. Because if you come up and assume that they're gonna stop, that one assumption can cause you to be in an accident. This simulator gets recruits mentally prepared for what they may face. That includes driving in the rain and the snow. We've got some practice on the pumper here at the training center, and uh, that was about all that I was going in with, so it was quite the experience. What would you say was the hardest thing? Uh, for me, I would say the weight difference. So being able to stop the pumper and the ladder here were just uh, took a lot more braking than what I was used to. Cook told me about the biggest mistake he sees recruits make. Probably overlooking the little detail as they're driving down the road. We all get used to driving every day, the same thing, and we lose track of the detail that's out here. When recruits go through the KCK Fire Academy, they get their Class B driver's license that allows them to drive a vehicle weighing more than 26,000 pounds. Assistant Fire Chief Scott Shoneman says you have to factor in the braking distance of a fire truck. The weight of the fire truck, it's not going to stop on a dime. It's not a Prius. So you're not going to be able to stop just like that. To put it simply, how difficult would you say it is to drive a pumper truck? Well, I think there's a comfort level. Um, the difficulty in the beginning, uh, I think it's just comfort behind it. If anybody has gone from a small car to driving a Suburban, there's just that adjustment. An adjustment recruits Savita experienced firsthand. Not everyone stops on a red light. That's something I've learned today. So uh, just watching out for everything that could possibly go wrong. And that simulator is just one portion of the training. In KCK, recruits also complete an emergency vehicle operator course using an ambulance. Now keep in mind, the fire department says a firefighter has to be on the job more than a year before they can become an extra driver of a fire truck, not to mention pass a series of tests and get approval from supervisors. Now to become promoted to a driver in KCK, you have to be a firefighter for at least five years in that fire department. For the KSHB 41i team, I'm Cameron Taylor.